Good morning. Wow, we are really thrilled to see so many people uh, turn out so early in the morning. We've, uh, for those of you who were not uh, at our dinner last night, uh, not only is the Middle East Institute uh, thrilled with the turnout for the dinner, but uh, we have over 700 people registered for this conference today, breaking a 63-year record for the Middle East Institute. So thank you all. Welcome, and thank you all very much for your interest. It's going to be a little cramped, uh, but uh, uh, we have a terrific program, and I think your interest uh, shows that. Um, we uh, do apologize to those that we did have to turn away. We had to close the registration. But if you see your friends and they couldn't come, uh, we are covering this uh, on our own podcasts. Uh, and C-SPAN is covering three of the four panels, so uh, we'll have transcripts on our web, so there will be other opportunities you can tell your friends. Uh, last year, when we began thinking about organizing this conference, we chose the uh, theme, Rewriting the Middle East Agenda. We are anticipating a new administration headed by President Obama and a new approach to the region. Uh, we weren't disappointed. President Obama has immediately changed the mood uh, of our relations in the Middle East, one towards American engagement. That was an essential first step. But not surprisingly, intractable, intractable issues have proven to be just that, very, very difficult. Uh, we uh, have certainly seen some significant mm -hmm. developments taking place relating to the sh our American shifting relations with Iran, with Iraq, with the parties of the peace process. And we look forward to analyzing all of those issues by some of America's and the region's best experts uh, throughout the day in this room, and you are, will be participants in that. By the way, um, uh, it's very important for us as we hold these conferences year after year to, to improve them each year. So you will find in the packet on your seat uh, a card that we really do hope you will uh, fill out offering us suggestions on the topics that we've selected, uh, on the organization of the conference. Please give us your feedback. That's how we get better. And that's what uh, we want to be able to do next year is to offer uh, a, an even better conference for you. The Middle East Institute uh, has been uh, organizing this conference, as I've said, for over six decades. And we believe that as an old organization, one of the first in Washington, totally do dedicated to the Middle East, that we're aging pretty well. But in doing that, we've got to keep up with the increasing competition in Washington, but also technology, technological changes. So while we're waiting for uh, Under Secretary Burns, let me just tick off some of the uh, new elements of the Middle East Institute as we've adjusted to new technologies um, that uh, uh, provide a better product for you. Our Language Institute, for example, uh, has now been, a, we offer in the evenings, um, uh, evening instruction for adults in Arabic, Turkish, Hebrew, and Farsi. Uh, we are now accredited uh, so that we can offer you uh, college credit courses uh, for courses that are taken there. MEI has several new faces among our 45 scholars. We have a new revamped website. Please go to it. I think you'll like it. On that, you'll find all of our publications. You'll find podcasts um, of our programs. You'll find a Twitter. Um, and you will find uh, 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 transcripts and, and new publications, uh, viewpoints, which are basically anthologies on different issues. The Sultan Qaboos Cultural Center and our summer series of garden cultural events have added a new dimension to uh, the Middle East Institute, attracted new audiences uh, with regards to culture, and we're very happy with that. The Middle East Institute is now up on YouTube. You can see it uh, in different segments, but uh, uh, we're there, and this has transformed our programs uh, into global happenings. Uh, now, anybody anywhere in the world can tune in on YouTube and see our programs, as well as download uh, audio uh, from our podcasts. 
Uh, this has given us a huge footprint, in fact, global footprint. Uh, take a look at our blog site. It is uh, run by uh, the editor of the Middle East Journal, Dr. Dunn, um, and it is uh, uh, just growing exponentially in, in, um, in readership and commentary. And back issues now of the Middle East Journal are now available electronically, uh, uh, which also gives us global reach. All 60 years of our back issues also providing a, an important historical um, uh, documents for uh, historians around the world. We estimate that uh, somewhere in the world, every four minutes, somebody is downloading an article from the Middle East Journal. And oh, by the way, the Middle East Journal is on sale in the Holman Room, which is right, the room right in back of uh, where you registered this morning. Uh, you will be able to uh, purchase, if you're not already a member and subscribing to the Middle East Journal, you'll be able to purchase our latest uh, edition, which actually features several articles on Turkey and trends in new Turkish identity. Uh, it also includes some very interesting articles on uh, Syrian Muslim Brotherhood. Take a look. You'll also find in that room examples of the policy papers, our viewpoint publications. This year, uh, with our viewpoints, uh, we have focused on the important year in uh, Middle East history and politics of 1979. And you will find several books on sale, uh, some um, that we have, have from our library, but also uh, some not related to the Middle East Institute, but projects that we support, like the Middle East Youth Initiative, which is a joint project between the Wolfelson Center for Development at Brookings and the Dubai School of Government. The Middle East Institute uh, is very much focused on youth in the Middle East. Um, so in your spare time, please go down uh, to the room and check it out. And while you're there, we welcome you, we urge you, we encourage you to join uh, as a member of the Middle East Institute. We're a membership organization. We're supported by our membership contributions. Um, uh, we see that you're interested in what we do. Please please support us by becoming a member. Uh, with your membership, you will get a subscription to the Middle East Journal and a ticket to this conference next year. Um, I should uh, point out that when our founding fathers established the Middle East uh, Institute over 60 years ago, it had the wisdom of making it uh, very broad. Uh, we extend from Morocco through Pakistan. We know Pakistan and Turkey are not part of the Middle East, but uh, uh, we have always covered those areas. This year, about six months ago, we established a center for Turkish studies and a center for Pakistan studies, given the, um, the increasing importance of those two regions uh, to uh, U.S. Uh, policies and the changes in those areas.